Welcome everyone to NXT. We are live from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and starting off the show, we got the debuting Baron Corbin taking on the original bro, Matt Riddle, here one-on-one. -on -one. Matt Riddle had a match last week, but Baron Corbin came out and attacked him for, for whatever reason. And Matt Riddle was not happy about that, and he demanded a match here tonight against Baron Corbin. He was granted Matt, that match, and now we've got the match here tonight. This should be interesting, as it is the original bro taking on the lone wolf here tonight. There you go, this match is underway. Baron Corbin with a backbreaker. Baron Corbin. Matt Riddle going on the attack. Matt Riddle just stomping away at Baron Corbin. And now he's applying a stiff slot to the chest. And now a knee taking down the Lone Wolf in his debut here on NXT. Matt Riddle still on the attack. Targeting the left leg of Baron Corbin and throwing him out of the ring. Referee starting his 10 count. Two. Matt Riddle's just waiting, patiently waiting for Baron Corbin to make his way back to the ring. Another knee. And off the ropes goes Matt Riddle, but. Gonna go for a. Oh, Baron Corbin is gonna go for a clothesline, but Matt Riddle dodged that just in time. Matt Riddle, Irish whipping Baron Corbin to the corner. Baron Corbin on the attack. An alley-oop taking down the original bro. And Baron Corbin taunting the crowd here in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. There's the cover. And a kick out. Matt Riddle with a jawbreaker. Going for another Superman punch. Oh, Matt Riddle, Irish whipping Baron Corbin off the ropes. Going for a spine buster. Spine buster beautifully applied. Matt Riddle. He is still, still fighting in this match. He's gonna throw Baron Corbin off the ropes once again. Going for another spine buster. Taking down the Lone Wolf in this in his debut match. Now, if I was Baron Corbin, I would be I would be well well aware of Matt Riddle. Oh, oh, and Matt Riddle, Baron Corbin, being thrown once again to the corner. Matt Riddle going for a German suplex. Taking down the lone wolf. Matt Riddle is still in control of this matchup. There we go, Irish whip. Out of the ring. Throwing him back in with that suplex. Just stomping away at Baron Corbin. Baron Corbin needs to think of something. Oh, and Matt Riddle. Going for that submission. Baron Corbin gonna tap. Baron Corbin, he's gotta be careful not to tap. Oh, and Matt Riddle makes Baron Corbin tap out. That was a quick match, but Matt Riddle comes out with the victory against Baron Corbin here tonight. Here is your winner, Matt Reynolds. You can probably tell that Baron Corbin is not satisfied about that loss on, during his debut match, but. I gotta say, this is this is a revenge from what Baron Corbin did last week. As he attacked Matt Riddle during his match. 
That was the last week was the debut of Baron Corbin. He just came out and attacked Matt Riddle for no apparent reason. And then we got this match tonight, which Matt Riddle got revenge on against Baron Corbin. So I wonder how this will progress out. And up next we've got Luchasaurus and Jungle Boy. Accompanied by Marco Stunt of Jurassic Express. Well, they're all Jurassic Express. And they're taking on Christopher Daniels and Frankie Kazarian. A lot accompanied by Scorpio Sky of SCU here tonight on NXT. Here we go, this match is underway. Luchasaurus, Christopher Daniels locking up. Luchasaurus grabbing the arm of Christopher Daniels, twisting it. And you can tell that Christopher Daniels is in pain as he as he breaks free of that of that hold. And takes down Luchasaurus, trying to injure the arm of Luchasaurus. And Luchasaurus with that boot, that bicycle kick. Off the ropes. Off for a splash. And an exploder suplex. Take taking down the dinosaur. Frankie Kazarian tagged in. He's trying to punish the Luchasaurus. Luchasaurus taking him down instead. For a bicycle kick. Just Irish whipping him to the corner and a bulldog taking down one half of Jurassic Express. Luchasaurus reversal and takes down Chris Frankie Kazarian once again. Luchasaurus tagging in Jungle Boy as he's best to go for a crossbody. And Christopher Daniels looking on as Frankie Zarian applied a clothesline and now tags in Christopher Daniels. And a clothesline taking down Christopher Daniels. Uh, Daniels is going. Throwing Christopher Daniels down to the floor. Jungle Boy still on the attack. Oh no, it appears that the Karen is back. I can I heard her in the crowd. We thought we banned her. And she just likes to pop up everywhere. Karen has the Karen has returned. We thought we banned her from the from the event from our events. Apparently she finds a way to finds a way to get past security. 
just stomping away at Christopher Daniels. Can we, can we get that? Can we get that Karen out of here? Uh, she's she's causing a scene in the in the, in the, in the crowd area. There's, there's a fight going on. We got we need security out here. Yeah, can we get security? She's causing a fight out here or an argument. I don't know what it was about. But hey, that's none of my business. I'm just here to commentate. I'm just here to uh, commentate what's going on in the, in the match. I'm not here to uh, talk about other things. I'm just here to commentate. Oh, off the ropes once again. Soros is watching as Jungle Boy applies a German suplex to Frankie Kazarian. Jungle Boy. Oh, Jungle Boy was about to go for something. And a flying forearm taking down Frankie Kazarian. Frankie Kazarian being thrown into the corner. Ladies and gentlemen, Karen has been ejected from the arena. Oh, happy days. Later, she's gonna be she's gonna be demanding to speak to the manager. Oh, and Luchasaurus throwing Christopher Daniels to the floor, and Christopher Daniels just rolling himself out of the ring. And also, it appears that there is a man walking back and forth in the crowd. Appears that he's lost his seat. There he, there he goes in the blue shirt. Oh, the, the man that's walking back and forth, he's finding his seat. The poor guy. I think someone stole his seat. That's not nice. Oh, Irish whip. I believe it was that Karen who stole that, that guy's seat. I don't blame him. Karen's. I don't know what I'm gonna describe with that a Karen, but okay. The fact that this is the same Karen that's been appearing every single event that we had. I mean, the first time we've ever heard about the Karen was last week's episode of NXT. And after that, we saw her at SmackDown. And we saw her at Raw. Now we're seeing her once again at NXT. How the how the fuck is she getting through security? Up to self. Make sure, watch out for security. Make sure they're doing their job right. As Luchasaurus going into submission. Good thing that Luchasaurus didn't tap out. Would have been a quick match. Luchasaurus and Jungle Boy, former NXT Tag Team Champions. Same goes for Frankie Lazarian and Christopher Daniels. Oh wait, were they Tag Team Champions? I don't remember. Luchasaurus still going on the attack. Over that neck breaker. Fire slip. And an Irish curse backbreaker by Christopher Daniels and Luchasaurus. Trouble. Or maybe not. So he's now tagging in Frankie Kazarian. Frankie Kazarian going for the twist of fate. He has it. No, and Jungle Boy comes in to save his partner. And Frankie Kazarian just stomping away at Luchasaurus. Now he's got him in the submission. Luchasaurus, you better not tap out. 
Oh no, Luchasaurus break. Going for the power bomb. Arm drag. Luchasaurus not looking too good in this matchup. Taking down Frankie Gazzari and Luchasaurus. Very what he has up has in his arsenal right now. Oh, for that kick. Jungle Boy tagged in. And an elbow. They're both Luchasaurus and Jungle Boy. And forearm. Luchasaurus taking a little break. Jungle Boy's behind the wheel now. Going for an elbow drop, but missed completely. Christopher Daniels once again tagged in. Super kick. Jungle Boy throwing them off the ropes. Super Daniels to the clothesline. Reversal. Clothesline by Jungle Boy. Slip off the ropes. Suplex. Dragon suplex. I don't know. I can't even tell the difference. Backbreaker. Enziguri by by Jungle Boy. And Christopher Daniels, you just thought he was about to crawl to his partner. Oh, and now he's got him in submission. Oh no, Christopher Daniels. He's gonna make Jungle Boy tap. And Jungle Boy taps out to Christopher Daniels. Marco Stun and Luchasaurus are not happy with that outcome. As Christopher Daniels just made Jungle Boy tap out. Ozzy and Jurassic Express to lose this tag team match. Which is a huge letdown for all three members. But a victory for for Kazarian Daniels Here and Scorpio Sky. Christopher Daniels and Frankie Kazarian. They just picked up a tremendous victory against Jurassic Express. They gotta feel really proud about that win. Knowing that that's an important win for them. And up next, we got Alexa Bliss taking on Ma Maria Kanellis. And Maria is not alone. She is accompanied by her husband, Mike Kanellis, who is going to be supporting her in this match against Alexa Bliss. Because I think Mike is a very nice dude for Maria. And I guess that Maria needing support from her husband is a nice gesture. I mean, having support from someone you love is important. And that's what Maria is, is, gra is graceful for, or gracious for. I don't know the word. So, yeah, any, so yeah forget all that, what I said. Yeah, and we're on with the match. And Maria just, what's going on here? Oh, I'll go for a back suplex. Back 
Crossbody maneuver by Alexa Bliss just taking down Maria Canellas. Beginning of the match, Maria Canellas was looked like she was receiving advice from her husband, Mike Canellas. We go off the rope, not off the ropes to the corner. And just throwing her to the ring post. And the knee. Maria's just punishing uh, Alexa Bliss with that suplex. Oh, he's about to go for that crossbody move, but Maria Canales with that leapfrog. But there we go now. Alexa going to the top. Elbow drop. He's to cover and a kick out. Over that move, Maria Canales is. on a roll, but now Alexa Bliss is turning the tables. Now, Maria, what she's going for. Just going for the tree of woe position. Devastating kick. I'll go for a scoop slam. You can see that Maria's husband, Mike Canellas, is cheering her on as she is just as she is just punishing Alexa Bliss in this matchup. I'm pretty sure at the beginning of at the beginning of the match they had a they had a game plan on how to take care of Alexa Bliss in this matchup, but I'm pretty sure it's not working. They did have a game plan, they would have planned it out perfectly according to plan, but apparently it's backfiring for both of them. Alexa Bliss is going for a suplex. Stomping away at... Oh, what's Mike Canales? It looked like he just threw a table inside of the ring. Doesn't he realize that this is a one-on-one -on -one match and if Maria uses that chair, she's gonna get disqualified. Now Mike Canales is just distracting Alexa, giving Maria the chance to go for something. She goes for a backbreaker. Here's the cover and a kick out. Maria almost had the win. Maria, she's just throwing Alexa Bliss into the corner. Just targeting the left leg of Maria Canellis. Just running off the ropes, just hyping herself up as she's about to go to the top. Alexa Bliss, go for a drop kick, but misses completely. Maria, what's she going for? Here's the cover. And a kick out, almost had the win. Alexa Bliss is still surviving in this match. I don't know what the fuck she just did, but okay, I don't, I don't understand what that was, but if she was whining or complaining. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what that was. Oh, now she's taunting the crowd here in Milwaukee. Right, now Alexa Bliss with clothesline. Now she's going to the top. Going for it. Elbow drop. Keeping Rick Mills down. So Alexa can do the... Go for the Twisted Bliss. Here's the cover. Man, we don't have time for replays. 
And that's it. Alexa Bliss was another victory, this time against Maria Canellas. You could have you can tell that Mike Canellas was trying his best as a to help out his wife pick up the victory, but that wasn't enough to help her retrieve that win against Alexa Bliss. In fact, I think that I think Alexa Bliss was just one step ahead of Maria in this matchup. Here is your winner, Alexa Bliss. Alexa Bliss is wanting to, her hand raised up again, and she just picked up a tremendous victory. And, You can see that Mike Canellas is just arguing with the arguing with the fans, saying, "Do not cheer for her. You should have you should have cheered for Maria." Well, Maria didn't win the match, though, so I don't know. That's all I have to say about that. But this is so sad. And up next, we've got the return. I wouldn't say it's a debut because he was here before, but it's, an, it's a return of RC, but he's now known as RC Uno, and he's taking on Black Heron here tonight on NXT. So we'd like to welcome our good friend RC back into to the company as he's facing off Black Heron here one-on-one -on, -one on NXT. I would just hope that um, Alex Gemini doesn't interfere in this matchup. Knowing uh, knowing this rivalry, I'm pretty sure he, I'm pretty sure he will be in, involved in, in an interference, but we just have to find out. As we got RC, you know, taking on Black Heron one on one here on NXT. RC on the attack, He's going after Black Heron. Black Heron going now. Black Heron clothesline. RC was about to go for uh, for uh, suplex. Now Black Heron out of the ring. Just throws RC into the barricade. Using that barricade as a weapon. The referee is starting his 10 count. We're at three now. Just throwing RC all around the ring. Just trying to damage him. What's going on here? Who is that? How did they get into the ring so quickly? Oh, it's the power of, power of, uh, you know. Oh no, it's Alex Gemini! Alex Gemini with the attack. RC just crawling. Black hair on after that attack. What? RC with the win, thanks to the help of Alex Gemini. Attacking Black hair on. Out of nowhere. I didn't know who that was until I realized, oh, it must be Alex Gemini. And I was 100% right. And RC picking up that quick victory. Thanks to thanks to the help of Alex Gemini. Black Heron didn't even know what just, even probably didn't even know what happened after that Here match. Here is your winner. RC with that with that tremendous victory, just put away. I wouldn't say he put away Black Heron, but he did pick up that victory. Which that was a quick that was a quick match, and I would say it was also a disappointing match, as it just says there on the screen. Wow. And up next we've got 
Annie Kawhi taking on Sochi Lopez, the NXT Women's Champion, in a steel cage match. The only way to win is by pinfall submission or escaping the cage via climbing the cage or going through the door. Or exiting through the door to be to be more precise. So Annie Kawhi and Sochi Lopez will be side in the, the steel structure. Well there will be no interruptions, no distractions from anyone else. It's just Annie and Sochi facing off against each other tonight on NXT in a steel cage. And the bell's just rung and Sochi Lopez is trying to get herself out of the ring so early. Oh no, she wasn't. Basement drop kick. Basement drop. I mean, a falling drop kick. Excuse me. Annie was going for a super kick, but Sochi Lopez is going for a backstabber. All going for the Florida Keys. Perfectly applied. Sochi Lopez going for a hurricana. Now Annie Kawhi in trouble as Sochi Lopez is punishing her in the corner. Going for a moonsault. Sochi just throwing any Kawhi into the steel. To the steel cage. Just punishing the an amazing athlete here in this matchup. In the steel cage. Any Kawhi is al any Kawhi is alone with the NXT women's champion. She's just throwing her all around the ring and into the cage. A cage actually made out of steel. I'm pretty sure you're all going to say, thanks, Captain Obvious. Just say. Now she's just taunting the crowd in, here in Milwaukee. Oh, again into the steel. Sochi Lopez in control, throwing Annie Kawhi off the ropes, going for a super, going for a kick. Kawhi was gonna go, gonna go for a Kawhi plex. That's what she calls it. Onto the rope, close line. I mean Irish whip. Going for a flip. Sochi Lopez with experience of Lucha Libre in Mexico. She's gonna use that Lucha Libre style moves in this matchup if she if she no, if she can pull off the victory against Annie Kawhi in this in this match. She's throwing Annie Kawhi into the corner once again. And another one. Sochi Lopez just calling for the referee to open the door. Oh, it looks like Andy Kawhi came just in time to stop Sochi from escaping the cage. What the 
fuck was that? I'll just throwing her into the corner. All in drop kick. Sochi going to the top. Oh, and she missed that. Botched that. And that punch taking down the women's champion. Is Kenny Kwai going for the submission. Ball and drop kick once again, taking down the and an amazing athlete here on NXT. Go. Hey, Kawhi is in trouble. Sochi Lopez, she's going for it. She's going for a Panama Sunrise. Trying to escape the cage, but any Kawhi is not gonna let not gonna let her let her do that. Oh, a double axe handle. It's taunting crowd here in in uh, Milwaukee. Falling drop kick. Manny Kawhi going for a end of heartache. Oh, and Manny Kawhi with the Kawhi kick. Here's the cover. And a kick out. Almost had the, almost had the pin. Almost had the win. Hey, that rhymed. Annie Kawhi just climbed the cage. Drop kick. And now what's going on here? going on. She's just standing there. Sochi Lopez is just standing there on the ropes. What's going on here? idea what just happened but oh, let me... hold on what's going on here hmm this is strange okay guys you want to see a magic trick there you go here's the magic trick Boom. Hey, it's magic. Magic trick. It worked. Let's 
Sochi Lopez on the attack of any Kawhi. I don't know what just happened back then, back with there, but a little bit with a little magic trick. Well, it's not a magic trick. He just restart the match. I don't know what the fuck just happened. Uh, and now Annie Kawhi going on the attack and Sochi Lopez going for a falling drop kick. Kawhi to the corner. I just don't know what happened a little bit ago, but it's fixed. We fixed it. And now Annie Kawhi throwing Sochi Lopez into the corner. Back before the reversals. Throwing any Kawhi into the into the steel. Go for a drop. Any Kawhi. Kawhi in this matchup. Tires rip off the ropes. Up kick. Flip. Now Sochi Lopez is calling for the ref to open the door. Better do it quickly, ref. Could have done it quicker, ref. I say. He's punishing any Kawhi. Any Kawhi with a reversal. Double foot stomp. Tell that Sochi Lopez just quick, quickly wanted to get out of this cage. She just wants this match to end. She's trying to escape. But Annie Kawhi is not letting her do that. She's trying. She's, she's, she's struggling. She's struggling. She's struggling. She's struggling. She's struggling. She's trying, she's trying, she's trying to break, she's trying to get out of this cage. She's trying though, she's trying. She's trying, but. She's trying though. Kawhi just trying to bring her back to the steel, to the steel structure. She brings her back in. Ooh. 
and the kick to the side of the head. Now she's calling the ref to open the door once again. She's wanting to escape this cage. She wants to be away from Andy Kawhi. Quick ref, quick. Quick. Kawhi just wanting her to stay back and st st stay in this steel structure. Sochi Lopez just wants to get out of here. I just wanted to leave this cage. Such has got her. Off for the Panama Sunrise. That could be it. Oh, and a kick out. Almost had her. Almost had her. Right again. Sochi Lopez is calling for the door to be opened. Calling for it once again. Quick ref, she's getting up, quick, quick. She's escaped, she's trying to escape, she's trying to escape. Sochi Lopez manages to escape. Sochi Lopez wins this steel cage match. Here is your winner, Cho C. Lopez.
up next we've got the return to NXT uh, William Ever taking on Marco Stunt one on one William Ever made his presence known on both Raw and Smackdown but felt like he but felt like um the word I'm looking for but I just forgot about it anyway let's just say he was ha unhappy on Raw and SmackDown so he just came back to NXT and he in his first match back he's facing Marco Stunt Go, oh, Marco stunned in trouble as William Eber going for a scoop slam. You may have known him, known him as the pastor William Eber in NXT, making his return. Yellow Brand. He's facing Marco Stunt here in this, in this one on one match. Marco Stunt going for Zuplex. Enziguri by. William Ever, a former Intercontinental Champion on SmackDown, wanted to go after the NXT Championship. Well, going for a Dragon Suplex, he's the cover, and rope break. Off the ropes, Dragon Suplex. Going again with another Irish whip off the ropes. Going for another dragon suplex. I can tell that Marco Stunt is not looking too good in this matchup. Sochi Lopez just winning that steel cage. She's got to be sending a message to uh, to her opponent for next week uh, NXT Takeover for the NXT Women's Championship in a Mexican Death Match. That should be an interesting match, considering that it was never done before in, in this in this in NXT. Now we're focusing on William Ever taking on Marco Stunt, and here we go, Marco Stunt go for receiving a Irish Chris backbreaker. And a devastating clothesline. Here's the cover. That's it. William Ever picking up a victory on his return here to NXT. Just putting away Marco Stunt. All we have to say is welcome back William Ever to NXT. I'm sorry that Raw and SmackDown didn't work out for you, but knowing that if you stay if you were to stay here a little bit longer, you can probably improve on the uh, wrestling abilities. Here is your winner. Probably go back to Raw or SmackDown in the future. Right now, looks like he's more happy on NXT than he was on Raw and SmackDown. And up next, we've got Adam Cole taking on the NXT Champion Kazushka Okada in this one-on-one -on -one match. Actually, it is a another steel cage. Ooh, that should be interesting. Knowing that these two are going to be locked inside the steel cage with no interruptions, no interruptions from MJF and or Finn Balor. If they were to if they were to able to uh, distract Okada or Adam Cole in the match, that's for sure. But I'm pretty sure that's not going to be an issue, considering that these two are going to be locked inside the steel cage here tonight on NXT in the main event. There you go, Adam Cole, Kazushka Okada one on one here in NXT. Kazushka Okada with a suplex to Adam Cole. 
Jones punishing Adam Cole in the steel structure. On for a clothesline. Irish whip, I mean. I always get that confused, damn it. Adam Cole on the attack of Jesus Kalkata. Going to throw him into the corner. He's taking down Adam Cole. The NXT champion on a roll here in this matchup. Jusko Kare, former IWGP heavyweight champion in Japan. And he's, a, and he's a current NXT champion. Going on the attack of Adam Cole. Adam Cole going for a neck breaker. Taking down Brainmaker. Just throwing Okada into the steel, to the steel. Oh, I, oh, that looks painful to watch. Now he's going to the ropes. More drop kick. Oh, Taking down Okada to the floor, and now he's going to go for an Irish whip off the ropes. And a drop kick. Okada throwing Adam Cole into the corner. Oh, and it looks like he just busted open at uh, Kazushka Okada. And he does. Oh, shit. What's Adam Cole up to? Those ropes. Ow. Oh shit. Adam Cole just climbing the cage. I just gotta stop him. That's what he does that. How to go into the top. Elbow drop by the Rainmaker. Here's the cover. And a kick out. Almost had it. Adam Cole. Adam Cole for DDT. Oh. Find that move, and now what's up? Adam Cole up to? Over oh, the rocket kick. Oh, not a rocket kick. Excuse me. And here's the cover. And a kick out by the Rainmaker, by the NXT champion. Oh, Adam Cole climbing the cage once again. No, no, he's not. For that move. Yeah. Throwing him to the corner. Adam Cole. That reversal and now throwing. Throwing. Oh, cut to the corner. Going for the clothesline for the back. I'm speaking gibberish. Forgive me for, for speaking gibberish, but here's the cover. Hey, that's cheating. Dare you, sir. Adam Cole throwing the pot in the corner. Going for that elbow. Now, Adam Cole just climbing the cage. He is climbing the cage. Okada trying to drag Adam Cole back inside the ring. He's trying.
trying to drag him back inside the ring. He does so. Nakata. Adam Cole going at it. got second thoughts. Makes his way back to the ring, go for a back suplex to Adam Cole. Otter going for that move once again. Adam Cole doesn't look like he's... Looks like he's not feeling too good in this match. Otter's just... Destroying him left and right using the cage as a weapon. Oh, over him and flip. Otto once again going to the top. Going for another elbow. Oh, and missed it by an inch. Missed that by an inch. Drop kick, but Adam Cole. Oh, and a bicycle kick by Adam Cole, and Adam Cole just climbing the cage. Climbing the cage. He wants to leave this. Wants to leave this steel structure. Kazushiko Okada still laying on the floor. Kara's stopping Adam Cole from escaping the cage. He's bringing him back inside. Two NX, one being a former NXT champion and one being a current NXT champion going at it. Adam Cole. Kara's going at it, going for another elbow drop. Otter's going for that move again. Oh, Adam Cole going for that reversal. Oh, once again. Cover. And a kick out by the Rainmaker. Adam Cole almost had the win. He's climbing the cage once again, trying to get away from Okada. Okada looks like he's about to he's about to go for it. Adam Cole better watch out. Rainmaker clothesline. Just to cover. And that's it. The NXT champion with the victory. Adam Adam Cole and Okada, you just saw both of those men went to war in this steel structure. But Adam Cole Desperately trying to escape the cage. Didn't have the chance. And Okada picked up the victory here tonight on NXT in the main event. But there was no sign of MJF and or Finn Balor. So that's a good sign. Considering that knowing them, they'd probably interf interfere in this match. But it's a good thing they didn't. Is nice. Here is your winner. Kushida, oh, car, dirt. 
And Okada, with that tremendous victory against Adam Cole, the NXT champion, is ready for next for next Sunday for NXT TakeOver Incarceration. So it'll be Finn Balor, MJF, and Okada for the NXT Championship in a triple threat. I'd like to thank you for joining me for NXT. Hope you enjoyed this episode. And as always, thanks for watching. Take care, and we'll see you on the next one. Oh, wait, never mind. Wait, we still got a little bit of time, though. Congratulating Adam Cole on a tremendous fight. Or maybe not. Oh no. Brainmaker clothesline sending a message to both MJF and Finn Balor. And the NXT champion standing tall. As we come to a close for t today's episode of NXT, like I said before, I hope you enjoyed watching this episode. Thank you for watching with me. Thank you for watching however you wanna however you want me to say, I don't know. As always, take care. We'll see you on the next one. And someone remove that pumpkin. It's not Halloween, damn it. <laughs>